Hey guys, Tommy from Gaster Nation here. We're working on the ACI 57 today. We're going to go ahead and try to look at uh, mocking up some wheels and start looking at uh, how to radius the fender wells, try to figure out a good shape for that and see how high I want to come up into the uh, in the quarters. So I had a pair of uh, 11 inch magnesium wheels, 11 inches wide, two and three quarter backspace uh, with a 33 inch tire on them. Um, I'm not going to run a tire that tall, probably more like a 31 and a half inch is what I'm looking at um with those magnesium wheels so we kind of mocked this up the other day i know it's not completely straight but um just kind of getting an idea looking at some cars probably cutting it about halfway up the trim for the bel air um but uh what i'm going to do now is unfortunately uh, my magnesium wheels are not the correct pattern they're four and three quarter and five inch bolt pattern so i was gonna planning on actually going ahead and just start cutting it and getting those wheels on there but uh since they're not going to go on i'm gonna have to wait till i order axles to be able to run those but luckily i have this pair of uh 10 inch wide slots that are a dual four and three quarter four and a half inch pattern so um i've got a 31 and a quarter inch tall tire that i'm going to mock up on these and uh right now i'm just going to jack the car up and hang one of these wheels on there and see where i'm at make sure it's not going to hit the leaf spring um, I'm not going to keep the leaf spring, so I'm going to order a rear end, and uh, we're going to do ladder, bar ladder bars or coilovers, but uh, like I said, just in the interest of trying to get it mocked up and seeing where I'm at on that, and maybe getting a housing measurement, that way I can go ahead and uh, order axles, and we could go ahead and narrow the housing uh, if it needs to be narrowed, and just kind of see where all that is going to lay out. So this is the wheel that I want to run there, at, uh, there at magnesium, 11 inch wide american racing uh they call them bear paws um and they came out probably about 69 or 70 you see them on funny cars and dragsters uh kind of in that era and uh i just i dig them anything magnesium obviously so i think that's what i'm going to go with with a little bit shorter tire um probably going to go with a uh, 12 inch um 12 inch wide by 31 and a half nostalgia top fuel tire made by m and h and uh, it's actually a little bit smaller. Those are 33 10.5Ws that are on there now. Um, so go a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter on that deal. And um, that's gonna kind of give me the look that I want. It's gonna be a little more of a fat tire car. Like I said, uh, 1970, 1969 era. See the direction of them. Yeah. I'm trying to look at the overall radius on this and make sure it's close. That's a 31 and a quarter inch tall tire. Yeah. I think it's I think it's pretty close there, so um, that's gonna be really close to the final wheel and tire package other than one little hump there in the line but i'll uh when i'm cutting i'll uh i'll get rid of that but i think that's about it about ready to do some cutting the first cut is the deepest see where I'm at with that so
and do it like on TV. So much room for activities. Radius is on back later, right? Yeah. That's the desired effect. All right, so we got the first one cut out, um, and we just just took a piece of cardboard and uh, took the old piece that came out of that one and just laid it out on the cardboard, marked it, and. Uh, that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. So we just marked it, and then we'll just transfer it to the other side. All right. So this is my my transfer on this side. You see, this quarter panel on this side is in much worse shape. You understand why it's not really a big deal to cut them because it's a uh, it's bad. So <laughs> I actually have brand new quarter panels for this car, but it's not going to get them yet. So. But it's transferred down there. So I'm just going to make my marks with a marker, transfer it, take that off, and then cut this side. So I didn't really explain how I decided uh, exactly how far up and how I wanted to mark the quarters for cutting. Um, but essentially what I did was I basically looked at other cars and just looked at where the bottom of their rocker panel is like in conjunction to the center of the wheel. So I knew that I wanted my car to sit a bit lower in the back, um, have a bit more aggressive looking stance. So I wanted the wheel to come up pretty far in the quarter therefore the cut would come up pretty far so what i figured was the bottom of the rocker needed to be essentially at the bottom of the center of the wheel opening or maybe even lower than that luckily once you jack the car up the stock wheel ride height is about that height so all i did was i made a homemade protractor out of wood and uh, basically made it come out from the center of the stock axle I knew that I wanted my my tires were going to be 31 and a half inches that I wanted to run. So basically, I ran it out half of that length. And I actually it gave a little bit of extra, so I did it 33 inches. Uh, so half of 33. And uh, essentially, just like a compass that you use in school, just made, a, um, just made my mark. And then, luckily, I have that 33-inch tire already mounted up. So I can match the ride height, just jack the car up or lower it to get it sitting where the center of my other wheel and the center of my stock wheel are lined up almost perfectly together. Basically roll it up against the car and then I can double check a mark or I can just make a mark using that tire. So just basically trace around the tire and make the mark on my quarter panel. But essentially that's how I decided to do it. Just looking at other cars and where the center of their rear wheel is oriented uh, compared to the rocker panel. Um, that's essentially kind of what made my decision. You know, that and having to run a, a taller tire, not having to, but just wanting to run a taller tire uh, than a lot of other guys. I knew I needed to cut a, a pretty good size spot.
All right, that's going to wrap this one up, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being patient with me and watching and waiting for the next video. Um, I made a ton of progress on the car lately, so I'm really excited to share that stuff with you. So there'll be a lot more videos coming up very soon. If you get a chance, it really helps out if you can subscribe to the channel below, like the video, uh, leave a comment if there's any questions you might have that I may be able to answer or, uh, or anything like that, anything you'd like to see done better or changed or not included at all. Thank you so much again for tuning in and we'll see you next time.